hello everyone welcome back to that cyber guy so today we are going to discuss oaps zap so the oap zap is uh, like a penetration testing tools that you can use to just you know uh, test uh, your website or if you're a penetration tester you can use it to see you know uh, sql injections uh, course site scripting attack and vulnerabilities that you can just remediate so uh, when it comes to uh, penetration testing tools uh, we have like Veracode, Web Suite, uh, OAP Zap. So today we are going to demonstrate OAP Zap. So to do so, let's just, if I come here, I can close my terminal. If I come here to my application, I type OAP or Zap. I can see that you know it's it's not installed yet. To install it, I can open my terminal and then type a uh, sudo because I need to do it as an admin. sudo apt get install get update. So I want to get the update if there's any and apt get install z epoxy all right and hit enter now i did in my password because i'm trying to install something so this requires like administrators privilege make sure that you just type your password All right, so it is installing right now. Now uh, we are using like uh, like uh, Kali Linux, and we are going to use Metax Protobo as well, because what we are trying to demonstrate is you know how you can scan our uh, uh, Metax Protobo uh, server that has the DVWA uh, website. So uh, if you want to learn how to do that, you can go back to our previous videos to just learn how to do that so let me log into that uh, I can put the IP address of that uh, of that website if I just okay I can sorry let me try to do it like in into the comment comment line while this is while this is installed I can actually click on the terminal again to open it a new terminal and then I can just uh, start the firefox firefox and 10 that zero that zero that two that four which is the ip address of the uh of the medax portable uh server so once it once it is open it should just automatically just show me you know i am just accessing the server uh, but what we are going to try to scan is that website right here called D V W A. So we don't need to log into that website. You know, if you want to know about that website in our previous videos, you can just check it out. You know, uh, one of our like you know packet sniffing videos where we were using Wireshark to just sniff packets. All right. So while uh while this is just download oh this is finishing right now seems like we got an error message let me try it again zap proxy to see what's gonna happen i'm going to add my password just gonna wait until the download just is complete Let me, okay, we're gonna try to only install zap. sudo apt-get install zap. It is working, we're gonna just wait.
as you can see here it is working 55 percent you can just go ahead and get some coffee and then uh just so you know come back once it is once the uh installation is complete Yeah, let me go ahead and pause the video and I'll just be back, you know, once the installation. Oh, I don't have to pause it anymore because it is complete. All right. So now if I go open my browser. And then, you know, let me switch for Zap to see if it is installed right here. Zap. There we go. So we can see Zap is installed. You can just double click and open Zap. Now, while Zap is just you know running, I can just go ahead and just go to my Midax portable server and then go to the DVWA. Now, from here, we can see we can see that. Yeah, Zap is successfully installed because you see it right here. All right, it is opening. Yeah, that's good news. And for Zap, I'll just give it a minute because this is the first time that we are wanting it. Let me just move, go ahead and just make it bigger. And then I'm going to just make it a side by side. I'm going to try, see if it's gonna work, but there we go. I can. Let me just make it like that. And then let me just try go ahead and just logging to I don't I don't need to log in, but you know, because I can again just log in. So this is the uh this is the website I'm going to try to uh to scan. Like this is a, a, a good website, I can say, but it is not live. It is a is a website that you can use to just practice, but in order to use it, you need uh, to download and install uh uh, mid exploitable so if you want to know how just go back to our previous videos and then see how to download and install install it so what i'm going to do here i'm going to try to copy that url the entire thing and i'm going to try to scan it once the zap installation is complete yeah so we're going to see you know if uh that website or securities if it is uh susceptible to uh, SQL injection, XSS, etc. All right, let's see. Do you want to pass this up, up uh, session? Yeah, I can say I want to pass this up session. That's fine. I can say start. Good. So now Zap is open. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just make it full screen so I can have a be better visibility. Actually, let me just close that add on. All right, trying to drag this down so I can see better. And I can see uh, an automated scan I'm going to try. And then I'm going to just try to put the entire URL. And I'm, so you, you have to make sure that you know which web browser are you using. So I'm going to use the Firefox. As you can see here, we are on Firefox. Uh, and then I'm going to just click on attack. So yeah, the attack, you know, uh, as you can see here, this is 1%. This may take a while. This time I'm going to pause the video and be back once the attack is complete. All right, welcome back. So once this scan is over, you, you are going to see a screen like this. Yeah, and if you uh, you see, we have multiple tabs. We have history, and we have output spiders, active scans. The active, the active scans tells you, you know, it is one hundred percent completed. But what we are going to be interested in is alerts. So in the alerts tab, we can actually see that. Yeah, if we can actually expand this, 
to see that we have remote code execution you know this is you know all the uh, issues we have 12 alerts two of them they are high priority priorities meaning that they need to be get done they need to be fixed it will be mediated and then we have five media medium and then five low so now if you want to learn about you know how to fix issues like that the OAP top 10 video that we covered you can just go ahead follow it and then follow the OAP top 10 if you're if you're a developer so now you're a penetration tester after you complete that uh that uh penetration testing what you need to do you can just generate a report you could you click on report generate report and then as you can see they give you the domain name of the website which is the ip address but in the real scenario it's gonna have the domain name of the website and then uh you can, this is my face or oh, my face zap scanning we can just change it to uh i am a pen okay i can say i understand zap scanning i understand understand pen test now and just say my first because this, this is going to be the title and then this is the date and this is you know the default context etc we can click on generate and then as you can see this opens like uh it in a web browser where you can just download it as pdf etc and then look at that give you like this is the title that, I, that you gave and it added the date time the version and then gives you a very powerful report with like url like the risk why they are why there's a risk etc so this is so neat as you can see how it is it or easy it is to just start doing penetration testing so yeah and they give you all the level like the high medium and low you can just read to all this all right and then the other thing uh if we go back to our uh zap you can just minimize this and go back to zap you see that you know they give you like you know that uh, local host port 8080 so if you want to understand that go to our port numbers video so if you go, if you go back here and you just say local host Local is actually is the same as 127.0.0.1 and then we put 8080. So it's gonna uh, tell you, you know, a lot of information, you know, if you wanna learn more about OAP Zap. Yeah, so I'm very excited, you know, for you guys to just, you know, keep learning and you can put in the comments or the scan that you do. And if you have any comments or any questions, suggestions, feel free to add them into the comments and make sure that you like, subscribe and share so you can learn with your friends thank you